Hello, my name is Chris Impey. I am a distinguished professor of astronomy at the University of Arizona, and I'm here to tell you about a new ebook being published by the Institute for Physics in collaboration with the American Astronomical Society, for which I was an editor along with my colleague Sandlin Buxner. Uh, I have the book here with me, and it's important to know that even though it's an ebook, it is a physical book too, because some of us still like physical books, the feel and the smell of the book. And you can see here that the title is Astronomy Education. And this is the very first volume in the IOP series of ebooks on the topic of education. And it's one of two volumes. This one is about, as you can see, uh, evidence based instruction for introductory courses. And I, with my co editor, Sandlin Buxner, who's a research professor at the University of Arizona, worked with a wonderful set of authors on chapters for this book. And so this is going to tell instructors of astronomy throughout the United States, North America, and beyond uh, how to teach astronomy to non-technical or non-science audiences using the best evidence-based research on what makes effective teaching methods. So in this book, you'll learn how to design a learner-centered course from scratch with best principles of instruction. You'll learn how to use technology in the classroom, uh, including simulations, including auxiliary use of a planetarium, including special tools that astronomers have, like the Worldwide Telescope. You'll learn how to incorporate projects that have people using real astronomical research data, which we call citizen science. There are chapters on how to teach at community colleges where the audiences have particular needs and where the demographics are different from major universities like my own. And there's an important chapter at the end of the book on inclusion, on how to create an inclusive classroom for all the different types of learners you might encounter. So this is our ebook on astronomy education with a second one to follow in just a couple of months. The advantages of publishing online through the Institute of Physics are, of course, that this is very current content. Because it'll exist online, we can update routinely and regularly on a much faster cycle than a printed book. We can include auxiliary material, teaching materials, templates for syllabi, and for the various methods that you're going to use in the classroom, such as lecture tutorials and others. Uh, and the authors of the various chapters are experts in their various domains of astronomy education. And they all use evidence-based instructional methods. In other words, they know what works because they do research on teaching. And I think that's the value of it for the average astronomy instructor who of course has their plate completely full by teaching astronomy. They don't have time to do research on astronomy education. So that's a book that I want to introduce you today and I hope you check it out. Thank you.